This is a big switch that is controlled by either a key or any card with a magnet strip um, that's read by this card reader. I'm using this switch as a tool, uh, a tool power switch for our scene shop. Um, inside, uh, we have an Arduino, a USB host shield, and an Adafruit data logger shield stacked on top of each other. The USB host shield is handling the card reader and the data logger is handling the file manipulation for the SD card and the real-time clock for recording time. This is the relay that is doing the actual switching for the tool power and this is a 12 volt supply for the Arduino. On the face we have an LCD screen for um, information and user feedback, um, an LED for indicating tool power, the key switch, and an off button that turns off the power whenever it's pressed. Um, the main benefit of this system is that it records whoever swipes ca their card um, onto a text file um, which you can import into a spreadsheet. Um, it records who swiped, the time, and the date that they swiped so that you can have a running log of who's accessing tool power. Um, and how this works is the admin of this card here um, can add people and whatever card they want to use as an ID card by holding this button and swiping. This activates admin mode which allows the next card to be next card that's swiped to be added to the registered list. As you can see, this card has been added to the list. And next time it is swiped, it can turn on tool power. Um, there's a long pause between um, card swipes because the software reads cards with multiple magnet strips um, very slowly and if you're using anything like a, a gift card or a credit card um, those usually have two spots of information or two lines of information and take significantly longer than single line cards but as you can see this has been added to the list when we swipe tool power is turned on um, we recorded who swiped and at what time and when they swiped, this was added to the file on the SD card um, with the information of the ID of the card, the time, and the date. There's a separate file on the SD card that holds the list of registered people, which this refers to whenever a card is swiped at any given moment it reads through the list and compares um, each name on the list and the swiped card. If it's on the list, the tool power is turned on. This button turns the tool power off um, and it records when the power was turned off. So whenever the foreman comes in, they can see who, who turned who last turned the power on, when they turned it on, and when they turned it off. Um, this system automatically turns tool power off at 515, but can be changed for whenever you want, whenever your shop ends. Independently controlled is the key, 
and it turns on dual power whether or not the cards are swiped. And this button also turns tool power off if the key is left on. Let's say if this key switch is able to turn on and the key can be pulled out, this button will still turn tool power off if it's left on.